I'm the maven of the eventide, and this is a hotel room where I will host vampire reviews with my traveling skull, Morty. When I'm traveling away from home, I really cannot go without having my favorite breakfast along. Well, besides that, I am of course talking about the most nostalgic of all breakfast cereals. Count Chocula. Uh, seriously, when I look at this stuff, I just can't help thinking nostalgia, nostalgia, nostalgia. Ah! 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 ah. Well, how'd you do that? I don't know. Wait, aren't you that, that... A uh, maven of the eventide? Yeah, what you said. Uh, is that Count Chocula? Ah, uh, yes! Uh, do you want some? Yes! General Mills' Count Chocula debuted in 1971 alongside strawberry-flavored Frankenberry as the first two of their new monster cereal line. They were joined in subsequent years by Blueberry, Fruit Brute, and Fruity Yummy Mummy. The last two didn't last very long, but the original three can still be found today, produced in limited quantities for special release around Halloween. In 1971, the only two previously popular chocolate-flavored cereals around were Cocoa Puffs and the newly released Cocoa Pebbles. Combining their success with the cereal gasm that is Lucky Charms, Count Chocula was the first big chocolate cereal to also include marshmallows. Chocolate-flavored marshmallows. And with the addition of an instantly popular mascot, the trifecta of breakfast perfection was complete. Is coming your way. How about the monster for breakfast today? <laughs> scared stiff. We're not scared, Count. Then you'll enjoy my Count Chocula cereal. The cereal with loads of chocolatey marshmallows. Monster Mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. It got on in a flash. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. From my love. You know, I'm working on a theory that Count Chocula was inspired by the success of Scooby Doo. Yeah? Came out in 1969. It couldn't make sense. Mm. What about the Count from Sesame Street? No. Huh. He debuted in 1972, a year after the serial. Ah. But maybe he was inspired by Count Chocula. I think he was inspired by counting. Dracula and his son. The scene was Rocky Howard digging the sound. Mm, this stuff is like crack! I know! Besides being the most cracktastic tasting cereal General Mills had produced to date, Count Chocula's success was owed in huge part to the brilliant marketing strategy that was its commercials. The boxes did have toys and prizes in them like most cereals, and General Mills released a ton of memorabilia over the years. But the thing that really got the kids so excited over the cereal was their manipulation of team spirit. Blueberry has blueberry flavor. Count Chocula has chocolate sweeties. Dragonberry. Blueberry. Count Chocula. Here's the world's super sweet new cereal, Count Chocula. Fickle, I've got berry flavored sweeties for monstrous strawberry flavor. Well, I've got chocolate sweeties for monstrous chocolate flavor. Frankenberry. Count Chocula. Count Chocula. Frankenberry. Fruit Fruit has fruit flavored marshmallows for the howly good taste of fruit. Count Chocula's got chocolate marshmallows. Frank and Betty's got strawberry flavored marshmallows. I love Count Chocula's chocolatey flavor and real marshmallows. See? I like Frank and Betty's strawberry flavor and real marshmallows. As a kid, you had to pick a team by creating both sides of a healthy competition. There was no way General Mills could lose. It's too bad Fruit Brute didn't last. Or I'd say they predicted the Team Edward, Team Jacob rivalry entirely. That's stretching in a bit, don't you think? Team Count Chocula! 
What I mean is that, despite the squabbling, even 40 years later, Count Chocula remains the most popular of all the monster cereals. It doesn't sell exponentially more boxes when it comes out every Halloween for nothing. I mean, who even likes the other flavors? What? Hey, hey, hey! Did you know that it's the only blueberry-flavored cereal? So? Frankenberry was the only strawberry-flavored cereal, but you don't see anyone dressing up like a big pink monster of ambiguous sexuality. <laughs> Because no one likes Frankenberry. They only made a pink cereal to get girls to buy it. The Count Chocula has chocolatey marshmallows. It's also full of vitamin and goodness. Blueberry has blueberry marshmallows. Also part of a balanced breakfast. Chocolatey sweeties. Seriously, parents, they really are good for your kids. Blueberry sweeties. Please, please, don't not buy them because we make them look like candy. Give me that. See, the problem with the other knockoff monster cereals was that they all look the same, just with different colors and flavors. So, Cocoa Puffs is just kicks dyed brown. But what I never got was why all the cereal pieces were shaped like ghosts. It makes sense for Blueberry, but Count Chocula was the first one. The marshmallows are bats, that makes sense, but what do ghosts have to do with vampires? See, Team Blueberry wins! Ha! I thought you liked Count Chocula. I do. That's why I'm stealing both! <laughs> Nostalgia, nostalgia, nostalgia! I foresee this becoming a serious problem. Hmm. I wonder what happens if I say it backwards. No, no, no! Listen, 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 listen! <sighs> Not again! I'm Count Chocula. Cho Chocula. After we learn to this code. It's good buy to sitting home on Saturday nights. Nights, nights, nights. Let's go disco. Disco's here. Let's go disco. Disco's there. Let's go disco. Disco what? Let's go disco. <laughs> Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic, and this is the Muppet Show. Yeah! Disco, disco, disco.